Hello, happy February and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rachel and we are here in my doll shop in Denver, Colorado and we are here to unveil our February wild fashion subscription box powered through the virtual doll convention. This is a beautiful month. Who doesn't love February? Who doesn't love Valentine's Day? And this is a particularly beautiful outfit. We're very excited about it because Dil Hermando in Brazil designed it. It's his first First design that he has done for one of our subscription boxes and it is very exciting so introducing lace affair we're gonna put the photos on the screen right now but as you can see it is a beautiful vintage dress with lots of beautiful white lace and a big red bow cinched at the waist so let's read a little bit about it from our wild style watch newsletter it's a time for romance, charm, and a touch of classic elegance as we present to you our February outfit of the month, Lace Affair. In celebration of the month of love, we're taking a flirty twist on the theme with a vintage-inspired ensemble that pays homage to the timeless glamour of the 1950s. Dale Hermando de Assis, our wild style graphics designer and fellow fashion lover, put together this idea for this ensemble. Lace Affair is a testament to the sophistication and allure of an era gone by. This outfit features a stunning white dress adorned with intricate lace, perfect for any heartfelt occasion. The dress is accented at the waist with a beautiful large red ribbon symbolizing a gift of love and passion of the month. To complete the look, we've included a classic pearl necklace that complements this outfit and will coordinate seamlessly with the entire range of styles in the wild closet. And what's a gala without the perfect pair of gloves? Our long white opera gloves add the final touch of elegance to Elowen's attire, ensuring she's the belle of any ball. We want to indulge in the sweetness of February. So each box comes with a delightful miniature box of chocolates for Elowen, a little self-love treat from Elowen to Elowen, sourced from the finest chocolate shop in town. It's a reminder to treat oneself as lovingly as we would treat others. Let's celebrate a month of lace affair, a tribute to self-love, timeless fashion, and the joy of doll collecting. Enjoy dressing up your Elowen with this exquisite outfit. And remember, the beauty of collecting is not just in the dolls, but in the cherished moments we create with them. So you already saw a glimpse of the Wild Style Watch newsletter on the screen when we were reading all about Lace Affair, but my goodness, I just want to take a moment and let's regal in the beauty. Let's just revel in the beauty of this beautiful newsletter. Dil, Dil Hermando did a wonderful job and I just think it is so pretty. This is such a beautiful Valentine. It's a Valentine in itself. So on the front, of course, we have the gorgeous picture that Christopher took of our beautiful Elowen, our romantic possibilities Elowen styled in lace affair. She is absolutely stunning. There is a pair of shoes that is an add-on that uh, I'm going to let Christopher talk about because they were his idea and they are so incredibly perfect. But you can see this picture and she just looks beautiful. So D, you did a wonderful job with this dress. This is volume six of our newsletter. Can you believe it? We are in, Christopher, can you believe it? This is our sixth <laughs> month of the wild box. And my gosh, we're having such a great time. I, I'm just so excited to be here and be doing this with you right now. And Valentine's Day is one of my favorite months. It was one of my mom's favorite times. Throughout the years as a doll shop, we would have our annual open house on Valentine's Day weekend. And it brings back such wonderful, cherished memories. So that's one thing that I love about dolls and doll collecting is that we seem to celebrate, we like to celebrate the holidays. We like to celebrate Christmas and Valentine's and, and Halloween and, and all, all the fun times of the year. So this is a beautiful time for dolls collecting and February is, is just a wonderful time for doll fashion. So speaking of doll fashion, we went all out with the fashion history this month in this newsletter. So the front of the newsletter and then carried on to the back, you're going to see from corsets to miniskirts, the evolution of Valentine's Day fashion 
through the decades. And we're starting at the 1900s and traveling all the way to the 1960s. There is so much information, beautiful graphics. I love the pictures, the representations of the decades of the Valentine's outfits. It is so very, very, very fun. This is one that you need to keep as a keepsake. Definitely scrapbook this one. It is beautiful. So you are going to really enjoy that. It's something a little bit different that we did and I'm really proud of it. And it, it just looks beautiful. I didn't think Dee was gonna fit all this in one, in two pages and he did. And then we have, uh, Oh, we found a, a child's uh, version of this dress that is so cute on a 1925 magazine cover. And she's where it's a child's dress, but she, it's it's similar, but for like a 10 or 12 year old. And it has the the um, red ribbon at the waist. So it is just such a cute thing. So we included that there. And then in the corner, you can see our wild community. So Last month with Silk and Shadows, you went crazy. Your photos were so fun. I have to tell you, my favorite photos were the ones where you put the sleep mask on your dogs or on your poodles. It was so funny. It made me laugh out loud every single time, but you guys did a wonderful job. So we put some top picks in there. And then of course you have your style squad over there in the other corner. So this is a fabulous newsletter. You can download it in the Elowin Boutique right now and you can enjoy it. But thank you, Dee, for putting this together. I absolutely love it. All right, let's peek at the other things in our box. We love our paper dolls in both of our subscriptions. They are, they make it so much fun. It makes it come alive. And Dee's wonderful paper doll of the month is Lace Affair with Ello and Wild. It's beautiful. And look at the, look at the Rufus uh, Polaroid up there in the corner. That is so cute. But we have our box of chocolates, our Chanel purse. I don't know how he does this, but he takes things that are real life photos and makes them look so cool on paper dolls. But this is a beautiful paper doll and it is in the Elowin Boutique right now and you can enjoy that. We are very proud to make our paper dolls for the Elowin experience available to everybody. So if you are want to print them off and take them to doll club, G give them to your friends, whatever, share the joy, share the love. It's very nice when you ask, but you don't even have to ask. You can just share and enjoy them. So another part of the experience for every month is that we have crafts. So here's our paper craft of the month. Now in the Elowin Boutique, this is a two page download, but in our boxes, we are giving you the first page, which is so cute. We have stationery to play with and a box that says virtual doll convention love mail. It's a mailbox. And then you can cut out your little letters and envelopes and put them inside your mailbox. This is so cute. Assemble Elowin love mailbox and there's even instructions. So Dee, you knocked it out of the park on this one, and if you want page two and you have a printer at home, snag it in the Elowin Boutique, but I absolutely love this. So this page comes in your subscription box. Now, we have to fold it like this to put it in your box, and it does fold at not the right spot, but what you can do is lightly iron it. You can lightly iron it and you can get out those creases. So don't worry about doing that. You can put a towel over it. Sometimes you can just lightly iron it it, it, it works, I promise. So that's fun. Now, the rest of the box is, is a blast. So let's go through it right now. So you're, this is how your dress comes. Very beautiful. I love the lace. They did a great job. But here's, here's, my, here's one of my favorite parts. And Christopher wrote on it, from Elowin to Elowin. I just smeared it a little bit. But you have a chocolate rose. This reminds me of like the rose in Beauty and the Beast or something. It's very magical. It's very whimsical. It's just fun. These were actually quite expensive, so we have not taste tested them, but we will sacrifice one and try it. And it's kind of heavy, so I, I, I hope it's solid, but I don't know. You're getting a chocolate rose. Isn't that great? And so when you get it right, if you, you give it to somebody, do whatever you want, but from Elowin to Elowin is kind of is kind of very Elowin. I like that a lot. And then you receive your gloves. These long gloves are a lot easier to put on than the short ones, so put those on and that's fun. We got you a custom printed sticker that says, Happy Valentine's Day, I suppose. We had to make it, we had to make it Elowin wild. If we're making a custom sticker, it's gotta be very Elowin. This is your accessory that it comes inside your box. So in the Elowin boxes, you receive some sort of wonderful accessory. And this month you're getting this beautiful pearl necklace. 
Pearl necklaces, of all my jewelry, I get the most mileage from pearl necklaces because they are so timeless, so chic, they go with everything. And I love this one because it has graduated pearls. So look at that. It has graduated pearls, it is beautiful, and it's very, very classic. And so this necklace goes with everything in your box. The only outfit it probably doesn't go with is Velvet Spell because of the high neckline, but everything else I think it goes great with, so you're gonna love that. And then, this is so perfectly scaled for Elowin, your box of chocolates. It is a plastic box of chocolates. I'm just gonna take it out of the plastic so we can get, get the full experience here. But look at that. Look at how beautiful, it, we, spend so much time shopping for things. Shopping is sometimes a lot of fun, but for me, sometimes it can be quite stressful when I have to look for things for the boxes because there are a lot of things out there for Barbie-sized dolls or larger dolls than Elowin, like 18 inch sometimes, sometimes that kind of thing works. But finding a perfectly scaled something for Elowin and Grace can be challenging. So I was very excited when we found this little box of chocolates. It is so cute. I don't know if that's supposed to come out, but you can just stick it right back in there. So you're gonna enjoy that. So that is your subscription box. It is wonderful. We're gonna bring in Christopher to talk more about the outfit, a couple of the fun add-ons that we have for the month, and um, just what he thinks about, oh yeah, and the shoes. So come on in, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hello, hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I love this set. Did oh, you have fun building this? Thank you. Well, Valentine's Day is Maybe maybe one of my favorites. Like, it's like Christmas, Valentine's Day, and like Halloween. They're all in there. Um, and this actually, I'm shocked that we had the time to put a set together because um, <laughs> if you've been following anything else we're doing, we're a little busy right now. <laughs> so, so this was nice to like be able to just like stop and stage. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of the job. And um, I don't know, I think it feels... Um, uh, Valentine's Day is such a sweet time of year, and um, it's also, you know, kitschy and ridiculous, which is very much my brand. So I've had a lot of fun, um, particularly because I am really genuinely just excited about this box. Um, I think the dress is maybe our strongest or one of them yet. I think it's beautiful. Dee, you did a wonderful job. Um, it was a lot of um, back-and-forth conversation with the factory and alterations and whatever, as it always is. There's so many points of um, editing that are necessary, but I think the the outcome is delightful. Um, it's uh, just very pretty, and I love that giant big red ribbon. Um, we have this staged many ways, so you can really get into it and enjoy it. Um, but I think it's it's just beautiful. Um, this feels like something Elowen would wear for so many occasions, right? That she would maybe elevate something that is otherwise sort of mundane with a giant, you know, bouffant skirt and a big red bow. Um, it's just beautiful. And, um, I love it on Nima. This is a great thing to use on any doll that has a red lip, red manicure, red pedicure. If you're looking for um, just pops of, you know, accent colors, I think the, the really bright fire engine red color of this ribbon is beyond. Just very, very pretty. Let's talk about the crinoline. Yeah, okay, so all of these dolls, minus this Nima here, are displayed um, with a crinoline on, but I wanna show you that it's, it still has a really great sort of size and shape as it is. Um, it's just not gonna be quite as round. It won't be quite as full without a crinoline. Um, if you uh, were on the subscription in November um, with, um, not Pantry Princess, but, um, Oh, you know, the other one. <laughs> oh! Um, the, the blue dress. Hot, hot, hot hostess. Thank you. Um, we had a big bouffant skirt for that, too, and there was a, a crinoline with that one. This is the, actually, it's staged with the exact same one, um, and we have some more in the boutique that you can shop now. There's not a full, full stock, but if you would like a duplicate, or maybe this is your first one, you have a chance to snag one up. Um, so, so go run and grab that really quickly. I think that really supplements this dress so well. Um, otherwise, it is beautiful. You're not missing out on anything, but you can always sort of elevate it a little bit if you'd like. Um, this, of course, is Nima displaying her new um, crochet braids wig. This is the a crimson cascade that I've actually pulled apart a little bit. So it would normally come looking like the Midnight ra Rendezvous? Uh, Midnight Rhapsody. 
That's the one. Midnight Rhapsody. Um, this would normally be, um, you know, really tight, defined curls that, that are almost braids, or, you know, appear as such. Um, same exact wig, but just sort of brushed out and styled. I did a little bit of trimming to give it some dimension and some volume. Um, we've actually done a couple clips about, you know, hairstyling, so um, stay tuned for any further developments in that category. Um, but I think this wig is such a great accessory for something like this if you're trying to play with red as an accent color. And speaking of... Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing so far, I think, for the box is the shoes. So, sadly, I only have one pair of them in. They are coming, fear not. Um, but By the way, they were shipped yesterday. <gasps> Fabulous! <Yeah. laughs> They're coming! Good! <laughs> I've been to tell you. Oh, good. Um, so this is our uh, Romantic Possibilities Elowen displayed in a beautiful, you know, the pairing of everything else. But um, the real highlight for me are the shoes for this. So we were looking for different shoe options. I know we have lots of white, we have lots of red, and I, I just wanted something that felt more deliberate and more specific for this dress and for Valentine's Day. And um, Vivian Westwood is one of my absolute favorite designers, and she actually, we'll show it here, has a pump that is made in a PVC, like, rubber pleather texture, and um, on it is a either like a... a iridescent or a transparent applique of a heart. And so I saw that and thought like, it's just ridiculous enough. The scale of everything I thought was just really nice. Um, and, and so we were able to replicate it. So thank you, Vivian Westwood. Um, we miss you so much. Um, she passed away about a year ago uh, recently, and um, uh, I, I have felt the absence of her ever since. Um, I have some of, you know, some of my most coveted and, and favorite garments in my own collection are hers. Um, so I was very excited to have uh, an opportunity to, to pay a little tiny homage to her and also um, have Elowen really indulge properly for the occasion with, um, with some inspired shoes by Vivian. Um, but I, I just think that this is such a, a elegant and, um, I don't know, very soft outfit for her. Like, it just has a very sort of delicate quality, um, not in its structure, it's a, you know, perfectly, uh, wonderfully designed garment with integrity, but that the, the essence is very soft and it's very um, cushy and just, um, it, it makes me feel the way that I want Valentine's Day to feel. Um, I know it's not quite Valentine's Day yet, but now you can be braced for it when it comes. And, um, and the chocolates and everything, I don't know. I, I'm very excited about this box. Um, and so I hope that you are too. Um, if you are not on the subscription, or if you are, if you want to supplement that, we have some add-ons for you. So there are other pieces you can play with over this way. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more um, sweet and simple and everyday, this is a, an extension of our ever-evolving mix-and-match collection. Um, I think of this as something that she might be out window shopping in before her um, dinner later with herself <laughs> for Valentine's Day, you know, before she changes into her uh, little white dress. Um, this is a really lovely sort of exaggerated um, shirt silhouette with a huge puffy collar and some great lapels, um, very sort of 70s. I think, in, in uh, vibe. And then you've got a really nice little tiny scalloped short, um, just really nice, bright, vibrant springtime colors. This, to me, is such a great segue from chilly and sort of, you know, um, uh, monochromatic winter, something that can feel sort of um, drab, maybe. These colors really launch me into something ready for spring, and I feel energized just looking at them. Um, all the little tiny hearts, I think, are so sweet, and the colors, of course, coordinate with those shorts. So those will be sold as sets, and then the shoes we're offering separately. So if you're looking for, like, a really nice accent shoe, these are vibrant, punchy colors in, like, a, like a vinyl... Um, uh, pleather sort of texture. They're just really, they're very pretty. Um, and despite them being bonkers <laughs> for colors, I actually think that they're very versatile. Um, you could have an entire outfit be a really muted color scale or, you know, very monochromatic, and then have one sort of um, opposing accent color with the shoes. Have that be the entire accessory. They're, they're wonderful. Let's chat about the fit. Just to, just, yeah. just to touch on the fit. The shoes are a little on the tight side. So we've got... We, we list them for a little bit less than our typical. So you get a great deal on them. It's not a big deal, but, we, but I always like to just talk about everything. I think they're easier to put on um, 
uh, ball of the foot first. If you're putting a lot of pressure on the spike of the heel as you're trying to apply them, you might sort of crinkle the uh, the pleather there, which actually you could use a, a hair dryer or a, or a space heater, what have you, um, to sort of soften that out. I think because you've got a sort of floating heel that's detached from the rest of the the, the shoe there, it's just more likely to sort of to sort of crinkle. So when you're putting this on, I would just make sure that you're doing it sort of uh, ball of the foot first and focusing on applying it this way. But um, they're just, they're a softer texture. They, they're very well fitted, but because the shoe is sort of a, it's almost like a jelly, <laughs> then um, they might require a little bit more of a ginger, gingerly application. But um, they're, they're so cute. And again, I have no issue with that from the front. Even from this side, I think that's really, really pretty. Um, I don't think it's obvious either from the back. So if you're having any trouble with these, um, you're not alone, but also I think that that's very, you know, an easy repair. Um, and I think they're just very display friendly. Like they're, that, that shoe to me almost makes the entire outfit. Like the only other real point of blue that I'm playing with is the wig. And that's, that's sort of what that's you know, calling back to. Um, you've got a periwinkle in this shirt, but there's nothing quite this color. So I think if you're if you're looking for a wonderful way to accessorize, these shoes are a, a no-brainer for me. So Christopher, that was that was so fun. I always love talking fashion with you, but oh, I really you. love the roses you put in Nima's hair. <laughs> Thanks. I wanted a way to to play with it that felt playful, but also very sincere. Um, I think this would be a, a wonderful way to accessorize uh, this sort of natural textured hair in real life on people. <laughs> so why not? I mean, if I I was thinking as I was sort of rummaging around in the shop, like I wish that I had flowers in scale so that I could put tiny little roses in her hair, and and then I found some and I was like you've got to be kidding me so I found this little like I don't know silk bouquet of roses that were just sort of wound together and I, I instantly like chopped it up and was like very excited so um, feel free maybe to be more um, imaginative and expressive and adventurous with styling your dolls and di and, and their hair and whatever um, I, I please like show me inventive inspiration that you have um, when you are you know undressing them and redressing them and playing with them. Show us your your photos. Show us your inspiration because I I think that's it's cyclical, right? Like we can inspire you and you inspire us. Um, this was just very much fun to stage, and um, I don't know. I I. I hope that this brings you um, a sense of softness and, and sweetness like it does for me. Um, indulging in Valentine's Day, even if you are your own Valentine, I think can be um, tender and sweet and romantic. Perhaps treat it as an opportunity to be really loving and caring and doting to yourself. Um, I know that I often need more of that for me, um, so, you know, enjoy and have fun. and. Um, Enjoy your chocolate rose. I'm actually about to go try one and see if they're any good. I've been I've been on the edge of my seat trying to wait for like a week. Should we do it on camera? <gasps> Let me go grab one. You can grab the one out of the box. Oh, I guess I could. Well, I should say too, actually, if you're still rolling. Yes. Um, uh, I have, on four of these roses, I've handwritten uh, to Elowen from Elowen, and I'd imagine we're going to need to use all of these. So four of you will be very lucky <laughs> to get to get uh, pre-written little um, heart tags on there. Um, I don't want to sacrifice one of these, because now I've just told you you get one. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> Hello, I have, I have my rose here. What I'm noticing is I think that it's actually glued to the stem. So my inclination is that you're not like decapitating this. I don't know. I wonder if you're just supposed to um, defoil it <laughs> on its on its uh, pedestal, but I don't think you can. I think it's it's wrapped under itself. So I'm gonna do something sort of violent. Oh, <laughs> how counter uh, how anticlimactic. Okay, so we're loosening the glue. I need like a like a drum roll, please. Okay, haha. -ha, all right, that was a short drum roll. <laughs> Um, ooh, okay, so they're hollow, so if you wanted to, you could, like, pop a hole. I, I crushed this on accident. You could pop a hole and, like, I don't know, stick jelly beans or something inside. Um, all right, let's see how this is. <laughs> it's chocolate! Um, it's very good. Just milk chocolate? It's just milk chocolate. Um, so if you are... Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Um, if you are, you know, that was a good pop. thank you. Um, if you're averse to, uh, 
dark or white chocolate, then, you know, we got good news for you. Um, but that doesn't look so sad. I don't know. Maybe you can, like, put a, a <laughs> bud back on there. Um, happy Valentine's Day from everyone here at BDC to you. And um, enjoy. Enjoy.